and we are back with Destructoid Video. I'm here today with John Frischa from The Escapist, who's had early access to the Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters. I'm very jealous. I've been wanting to play these. And these are some of your favorite games ever, yeah. so I'm pretty certain you're excited to have your hands on these. That is correct, Brett. <laughs> to clarify, just because you didn't mention, uh, I was playing it on Switch. The big thing is it's out on Switch and PS4 now. No Xbox, because they can just go to hell. Yeah. No Xbox. Square Enix <laughs> says, Xbox who? Precisely. All right, let's talk about these pixel remasters. In general, how are the visuals? How do they look? So yeah, I'd say when it comes to the uh, the graphics, well, first of all, if you've played on PC or mobile at all, pretty much the same thing as far as the actual art goes. Uh, it's, it's a big upgrade on the pixel art for the most part. So these games originally came out on the NES and the Super Nintendo. And it shows uh, the NES games especially look really old. And so the, the fresh coat of paint that they slapped on here looks really, really nice overall. There's still a direction to it. Like it doesn't it doesn't feel haphazard like things for the most part. They match the way they should match, which is good. And uh, then when you get to the Super Nintendo games, the upgrades are a lot more subtle because uh, the Super Nintendo games still pretty much look good in the first place, and uh, there were Game Boy Advance ports that had also done some uh, some little touch-ups here and there. So they kind of just pulled over a lot of what they'd done back then, but they definitely redid like the backgrounds for like battles and stuff, so like these huge HD images that are really pretty. And they did a really good job of like basically reusing most of the original color palette to create some things that are, in some cases, like way more detailed, and it looks really nice. So I think they did a really good job overall there. Me knowing a little more about pixel art than the average person, I will say that the actual pixel characters are a little bit odd in that they will use like multiple colors when you don't actually have to use multiple colors. And I'll keep this really short because the average person doesn't care. But in short, when they originally made these games, they used limited color palettes because they had to, but they used extremely artful use of those palettes and they did really brilliant things. Here, there's no restriction on color palette anymore, and so they went a little too wild with it. Uh, some of the artistry has been lost in using too many colors for like the actual characters themselves. But I think that's a pretty minor problem in the grand scheme of things. And overall, this is a really beautiful enhancement. And if you don't, if you don't care about pixel art in the first place, you're going to be really happy with the way these games look compared to the originals. Yeah, I'm sure they did all the right things for the most part, but I know a controversial thing about these games has always been the text and the text boxes. What's the deal with these versions and have they finally fixed them? Yeah, so when these games released on uh, PC and mobile, there was only this like really hideous non-pixel font that like did not go with anything and it was like really like narrow too for like no reason at all so <laughs> it, it was so jarring it was terrible it was like almost like they put it in there as like a joke and like it was like a placeholder and later they were gonna just fix it but then they didn't and they're just like i guess you're paying for this sucker but uh the console versions they actually got a pixel font and it's uh it does its job you know like I'm such a crazy purist that I wish they would have actually used some of the pixel fonts from the original games, which honestly might not have even been practical, and that's why I, I say I'm kind of crazy for wanting that. But the font that's there, you know, it works. It fits. It's um, It reminds me a little bit of the Game Boy Advance font, even though it's actually not too similar to that either. But it's it's definitely a solution that works. It's another one of those fixes where it's like, good job, Square. You listened. You did something smart. So I think people will be happy with the new font. But the old hideous font is there if you're an idiot and want to use it. You can turn that on? It's still the default, yeah. Oh you have my to manually gosh. Switch. It's the default? <laughs> yeah. You have to manually switch to the pixel in, like, the configurations options or whatever. That you know? is hilarious. That's funny because not many people even go to the settings. So, like, thousands of people are playing these terribly texted games. Right! That's right. I, <laughs> yeah, that's our PSA to the world. Change the font immediately. All right, let's talk about the audio. You have spoken to me a little bit about this. I hear they did an amazing job. Go ahead and gush all about it. The original soundtracks to these games in the first place, especially the Super Nintendo games, are some of the best soundtracks you'll ever hear in your life. And when they did the remasters, they like did a full-scale like remaster of the music too with like all these orchestral arrangements. Some of it's really creative and like 
at least 90% of these arrangements are spectacular. Like, they are so good. I love the original songs to death, and it's very easy for me to be like an old curmudgeon and be like, oh, this isn't how I remember it. Why did they change this? But no, these new arrangements are spectacular. Like, every now and then, I'll hear a rhythm where I'm like, eh, I don't know about this one. But, like, those are far, and like, few and far between. Overall, like, this, it sounds spectacular. Uh, on the PC versions, I would literally just let the music play in the background. Like, I wouldn't even be playing the game, but I would turn it on to let that music play in the music box. So, yeah, like, if you like video game music at all, like, you're, you're, oh, you're going to go crazy over the soundtrack. And the good news is, if you're an old school purist lunatic who refuses to change, which is usually me, on the console version, they brought back the original soundtracks as an option that you can toggle to whenever you want. So that's awesome too. Which one is on by yeah. default? It's, it's the new one, so which which makes sense. And again, it's so good that, you know, yeah, that's fine. One other thing that I wanted to talk about, because I know you had some qualms with the PC version of Final Fantasy VI <laughs> whenever it came out. It had a weird opening where it did the traditional opening where it's this long, drawn-out opening, but they removed all the credits. So it was just very strange. And <laughs> yeah. did they finally fix it in this version? Yes, there's actual credits now. And uh, they use credits of, like, the main people for the remaster. So, like, That's it's not... Cool. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. I should have expected that they'd do that. There was some part of me that was thinking maybe they'd retain some of, like, the original people there. But, like, no, it's, it's focusing on the new people, and you know. I guess that makes sense. As I'm sure the original people are credited someplace, you know. One more thing that is important to mention that's uh, new to the, the to the console versions is they added new. They call it boost options, but it's it's more it's more in depth than that. So you can adjust experience and money now, like the rate at which you accumulate them. So they were piping up how like you can go up to like boost it like up to four times if you want. Uh, so like get four times the experience and like really like remove grind altogether and get like a super powerful team and you can also turn off encounters too what i didn't realize which is more exciting to me is you can also you can send it the other way you can like cut your experience in half you can cut it down to i think a quarter you can cut it you can turn it off completely if you want a really crazy challenge yeah so you can be like fighting and getting no experience and no money which i wouldn't recommend but if if you if you feel like they've like overcompensated and rebalancing the games if you feel like they've made them easier like you can make it harder on your own just cut your experience in half you know or turn it off completely like you can kind of create your own challenge now so in in like all these ways like I got to give props to Square. Like these are like these sound like small changes, but when you add them all up together, like it's actually really substantial and it feels like a really nice upgrade over the original release. Yeah, especially packaged together with every single game having all of these options. Yeah, right. Yeah. An old school Square lover in the first place, but like I'm pleasantly surprised that like they actually made this console release like substantial upgrade. They didn't have to do anything. No. They probably could have just dropped these exact mobile PC versions and called it a day. <laughs> yeah. Hideous font, F you, 75 bucks. <laughs> Was there any other final thoughts? I did actually, I did have one question in terms of the accessibility stuff. Was there anything else added aside from the XP stuff? And I'm assuming they have like a speed up thing. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, the PC version let you like speed up combat, and that that's also in in this new version. And you can also speed up your walking if you want. And in Final Fantasy VI, there's an item that lets you double your speed in the first place. So you can combine that with the inherent one. Yeah, like you're like zooming around at the speed of light. Like it looks like somebody bugged the game, but it's just the game. And when you are speeding up, I'm assuming the music all still stays like the same it's not like sped up like chipmunk music <laughs> yeah 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 it's not like a cartoon yeah you can like almost literally fly through some of these games now if you really want to one very last thing uh there are some like little frame rate hiccups here and there that don't really make much sense and i want to say that might have been a slight issue on the the pc version too so like you know it's not perfect but i don't I don't really care about that stuff, so I'm not going to complain about it. But if you need, like, a million frames on your ancient 2D video games, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, thanks so much for coming on the channel and talking about your experience with the Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, or maybe even hit that subscribe button if you're feeling generous. Thanks a lot. We will talk to you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye. See ya.